Hey guys, I am LB, and we are back with Quantum Conundrum. As you can see, last episode we threw that chair there, and uh, don't know how I did that, but let's see if we can do a better throw this time that does not get the chair uh, thrown into an inaccessible place. There we go. Now I want to take something with me. Haha, <laughs> 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 I did it. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission <laughs> to do it elsewhere. That's not how I'm supposed to do this. I don't think. I am just breaking this game, guys. This is so much fun. This is so much more fun than watching other people fail at this game. Wow. Did he, I swear, it's like they didn't play test this game at all, because see, the safe is what's supposed to be- Did you see that? Oh, it, it adds another layer of glass, I think, when you switch, doesn't it? Something adds another layer of glass. <laughs> ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Ah, Thank that's you. what it does. Wait, what happened to the- what happened to it? Okay, the game does not like me breaking the game, apparently. Maybe they did slightly playtest this, but, you know, there's still some pretty obvious bugs that they didn't fix. So line this guy there, and we'll go forward. Let's, uh, oh, that looked weird to me. Is this for me, Ike? Yep. Hi, Ike. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Nope, where did Ike go? He was just there. Okay, I thought that he would stay until you passed a certain point. I thought it was like a trigger. Nope. I had to pause the cop there, sorry. Okay, what does it want us to do now? There's a safe here. Just throw the safe over, right? Kinda got sucked onto there, that was weird. Another loading zone. This is a fun game. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the underground railroad. This machine single-handedly won the Civil War. <laughs> not, not really. I was about to say, that's a pretty funny joke. I made my own modifications to my great-grandfather's designs. The current Dolly specifications do not require any raw materials. For example, Dolly converts energy from the radioactive science juice directly into matter. I never did sort out why she makes so many copies of things. Oh well, you can never have too many safes, or chairs, or um, coffee tables. Science juice is going to play an integral role in the storyline, just so you know. When stuff in my hand disappears, that means that it's unloaded the previous area that the stuff belonged to, so that's what's going on with that. I just like messing with that. Okay, what do we got here, Ike? <coughs> in case you're wondering, you turned on a fan. Please say that you don't need me to explain that to you. Ta-da! Oops, that wasn't quite right. Ah, 
that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Okay, what was the point of taking the safe in here? I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to do that. What's over here? Checkpoint saved? Checkpoint saved? What does that mean? That's a portrait of my father, Papa Wilfred Zapp Quadrangle. He was part of a top-secret NASA mission to capture Sputnik and replace it with a basketball. The Soviets <laughs> never noticed, probably because the basketball got better reception. <coughs> That's hilarious. I love the writing in this game. And also, the portraits change between dimensions. I hit Ike! I did it! I hit him! I hit him again! He, he disappeared. These are pretty scary fans. Couldn't I just fall right through here and die? Uh, I don't think that would be a good thing. Standard issue conveyor here. belts. So much easier than carrying things yourself. Actually, I want to do something like this. There we go. Now I can take it with me and cheat the game again. What's the condition for this guy? Oh, there's a button over here. <coughs> So, I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. Sorry, I've still got congestion, so... That's why I have to cough every now and then. Has anyone ever told you your presence can be rather soul-crushing? <laughs> I think it's like some achievement for breaking glass or something. I don't remember. Okay, let's see. Floating puzzle. So we want to put this guy right here, and then we just want to. Oh, we want to. Don't forget, we want to cheat. That's right. cheat the game. Here we go. Time to cheat the game. I love doing that. I mean, it's like they didn't test this game at all. Like, seriously, what the heck were they thinking? Look, it even disappeared in my hand. It didn't even make a little pop sound. Okay, with this one... I think we just want to put a cube on the center there and jump across. It looks like you can't make that jump, but you actually can. Jumping in this game is really weird. It is super weird. I've never seen a platformer with such weird jumping before. Let's see, what do we got going on in this? Now here's a painting of my grandmother, 
Nana Triangle on my mother's side. They say she kept an acute awareness into her golden years, but if you ask me, I always thought she was rather obtuse. <laughs> I love the cat's eyes and her hair change, that's funny. Okay, what do we got going on in this room? My glass breaking sounds in the music, by the way. trying to hit E to interact, and instead what I'm doing is I'm toggling the, uh, the dimension. Uh, you actually click to interact in this game, surprisingly enough. Hmm, they seem to have patched that, I guess. I think there used to be an exploit where you could infinitely jump high or something by grabbing it out from underneath yourself. That's odd. I pick this up. Come on, gang. Come on, you know I like to cheat. Oops. There we go. Now I've got it. And it's completely pointless. There's no reason to bring it up here. <laughs> oh, this turns on the other fan. That's right. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. I can. Where will we go? Nobody knows. Come on, you're coming with me, Cube. Safe, whatever you are. <coughs> Stay there. So the physics in this game can be a little bit weird and random and unreliable. And, uh, also, I'm really bad at jumping. You will never experience socks with sandals. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh no, my cube's gone! They stole it from me! Well, I guess that's what happens if you die. Didn't realize I was still in fluffy mode. Come on. I've also noticed that, uh... I remember when I was trying to play this game on an older computer. The physicality of that still completely baffles me. It, uh... The, the physics would just not work if the frame rate was too low. But thankfully the frame rate is pretty decent. I think I've got it set to 25, so... Physics should work fine. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing results. Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. I named her Angstrom. You know, come to think of it, it reminds me of this toy from the 80s. Stretch, stretch something. This game just loves its references, puns, and jokes. It's got good writing. Yeah, this is just a little room. Oh yes, it's the music I like! Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram Dimension, or Heavy for short. 
This dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. Okay, so we can easily get back up here. No reason to stay here. Let's see, where's the cardboard box? I know they're supposed to be here. Oh, this is going to So, this is a case of trial and error, basically... Oh yeah, so... Uh, those are supposed to laser stuff. Oh, hey Ike! What you doing, buddy? He's been on the shy side. Give him some time to get used to you. Yeah, these lasers Now just turn imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful! I like how they took the head. Yeah, these lasers shoot down whenever it switches to heavy mode. Gotta be careful about that. I'd help you, but I've honestly forgotten which dolly is hooked up to which power converter. Let's see if that works. Which ones get activated? Okay. One of them's wrong. Let's try that! This is basically just trial and error if you don't want to follow the cables. <coughs> and thus begins the waiting. I hate timing puzzles. Oh hey, I got it right! Okay, look at that. Okay, right, I gotta be up there when that happens. Oops, come on. I gotta wait for the next cycle, because otherwise I'm gonna get killed when the lasers land on that. <laughs> Jumping don't fail me now. I love this music. Oh, Some I dimensions it. are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now, and also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. Okay, well, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.